I solo built a large tower over the military helicopter crash site and I destroyed everyone who came there. In this video we will go from spawn to having unlimited raiding gear, defending our base from a tryhard solo and becoming one of the richest players on the server. Make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 200 likes and subscribe. Last video's mythical giveaway winner is shown now and today we're going to do one more which is a bubbling overloaded Zubeknikov. To win this make sure that you have liked, subscribed and comment something below and if you are a channel member you have a higher chance of winning. Alright boys we are in Panda Hut. One of the most popular unturned servers, Washington. High times load, but a lot of tryhards play here. Until if we go here, everybody is a villain. Almost everybody. There's a few people that aren't. But this server is full of sky bases, full of tryhards. Everyone here has unlimited raiding gear. Already here shots. But today I have a plan of what what I want to do here. Yeah, there's a car passing by. He didn't see me. But for today's video, I have a plan. We're gonna go to the helicopter crash site and we're gonna build a tower overlooking it. And every single time there's a person there, we're gonna destroy them. There's pants here actually. Let's wear that. Now I do have a plan what I'm gonna do. And I'm probably gonna do it like six floors up and then I'll do a three by three as the main tower. I'll try to make it full metal. But probably at the start, I'm just gonna have to build a temporary base just so that I have all the loot that I need to build it. Now a lot of people do play here so there's probably gonna be a lot of action going on today i do also want to do a base raid if it's live even better but also since it's high times loot mega zombies will be spawning here and that means that we're gonna get some good loot from them i wish i could do this in military base but i'll probably get raided in the next five minutes if i do that so over here it's unmarked mega zombie spawn it's a good place for a horde beacon if i ever want to do one and there's people at the heli too actually so i gotta try to go there and try to kill him somehow I don't think he actually has any clue about me. Please give me a gun. Yeah, we got a saber, some clothes. What? Bro, he killed a mega zombie. Okay, there's a lot of attachments here. Just try to kill him. Is there a scope? Got night vision too. Yeah, let's just push him and just kill him. There we go, he's dead. And I think this dude is kind of... Is he building a base? Oh yeah, he has a heartbreaker. Oh yeah, he is building a base. Alright, that's kind of funny. I really hope he didn't get to build one yet, but I think it's this one down here that's like a, a mess. He had a semi-gun. Right, let's put some attachments on this bad boy. There we go, racks the riches. A lot of metal. Alright, since we already got this loot, I need to take over somewhere really quickly. But before we continue the video, I would like to shout out today's sponsor. Are you guys trying to start your own unturned servers? If you are, then I got the best option for you, and that is Pine Hosting. But Pine Hosting, even if you're new to hosting, it is perfect for you since it is very easy to learn and super user friendly. They have locations all around the world and the pricing is also quite cheap. If you're trying to host more games than unturned, they also have Rust, Arc, Minecraft and much more where you can purchase. My favorite feature from Pine Hosting is that we can install plugins and mods literally just by one click. If you have servers with another host, you don't have to worry because they will provide personal help to move your servers. Make sure to check out Pine Hosting today and be sure to use the code LDG for 30% off. And let's get straight into the video. Let's take all of the medicine and the clothes so that we can try to make ourselves a bed. Yeah, I still need a little bit more cloth. And I don't have any space, man. Let's strip the ego fire, don't need these. Now let's salvage the pants. Let's take this... Oh, there's a dude coming here. I think he's naked though. Yeah, he's naked. He's dead. Alright, let's go. Huge. But yeah, the tower base is actually... This is where I want to build it. Right next to this base. Yeah, it's raided. Oh, there's a few crates. Yeah, I could actually take this over really quickly. Just build a 2 by one for now. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. And then we'll build as soon as I get all of the tools that I need. I'm going to try to get a chainsaw and a blowtorch. Obviously, some other stuff before... I start building the tower base. Because if I die while I'm building it, I'm gonna be upset. We got ourselves a lucky spawn, so... Yeah, we'll put this here for now. Let's just take some of the wood that that dude had. We'll start building. Yeah, we're gonna have to make a generator, so... Or else it'll decay. Yeah, I'm gonna need to farm a little bit more wood. We're gonna make a 2 by one Don't really need a lot, though. There's a few wood on the floor. So maybe that'll be enough. Yeah, there's a lot of wood over here. My guy chopped it for me, bro. Alright, let's see that we didn't miss anything. These sabers, we could take them, but since we have a heartbreaker now, probably won't use saber at all. Alright, we're back. I think I actually have enough wood. Alright, we've got two pillars. And we just need two walls and a doorway. Let's put the doorway right over there. Two walls. Bro, we got a base so quickly down as well. And the roof. We're gonna have to chop down a few trees now for storage. I'm gonna make myself a door. Get ourselves some metal scrap. There we go, two sheets, and now we got ourselves a door, and we have a sealed base already. Now I gotta try to make myself, either try to get a blowtorch, I gotta make myself a saw, chop down some trees, and make some crates. That's my next goal. Alright, so I'm back in base, made myself a wardrobe. I also got myself the generator kit, which is given to everyone. Now this server has no kits, it has no vaults, 
nothing. So we're gonna roam around raiding gear. I can't have it in Vault. If you're in PvP, you cannot home. Basically, just a normal semi vanilla server, which is exactly how I like it. So people cannot just have all of their loot in Vault. Obviously the same thing for me. I can't run around with the highest tier items in my vault. People just keep them in their base until they log out. Which is why I will try to do an online base raid today. There's a mega. Let's take him down. He should drop a lot of load since it's high times low. Yep, at least back. Yeah, look at this, bro. This is exactly why I built here. People are killing these mega zombies. I would hear them and every single time I could kill them and get all of the loot. It's so OP. It's kind of too OP to be honest. This is how everyone gets raiding gear instantly. You already have a dragon fang and a lot of ammo for it. There we go. Let's just put better attachments. We got adaptive toe. I'm not going to take all of the attachments. I didn't take all of the lasers and lights. I don't really need those. If I get range finders, they'll go for sentries. Adaptive is good. Barrels are all right. There we go. We got a fully decked out dragon fang as well. And we're already full. So very soon I'm probably going to go to Seattle and try to get myself a blowtorch. Probably make some more crates first though. And then we'll do that. There's a guy over there. He's dead. Let's go check out what loot he had. Thinking of going to Scorpion 7 to try to get myself a shadow stalker. If I get on my tower whenever I build it and just stay up there with a shadow. And there's people outside bro that could be so OP. So at some point I'll try to get myself a shadow stalker 100% and this dude had a chainsaw perfect and the bedroll and master key I'll take the chainsaw any day we that's really good for when I'm gonna build my base man yeah there's a bunch of raided bases over here by the looks of it would oh there's people in here right, he's dead let's close that oh there's another dude there we go both dead I don't think they have anything good though yeah we could take it just to salvage them for metal I mean I do need a lot of metal so let's just do that. Salvage Peacemaker, all the pistols. Salvage the vest, salvage the backpacks. Salvage the Schofield, so drop the plank. Still some more metallic stuff, yeah, but nothing good in these crates. Yeah, they're all empty. All right, so I'm gonna start building the tower base. Farm a little bit of wood with the chainsaw. And here we go. So first things first though, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a two by one and then I'll just salvage this one. So it's a bit higher up and the full foundation is, is shown. Oh, there's a dude down there. There we go, he's dead. I'm just gonna continue building though. Let's right, see so what this dude had. Um, okay, three piece make. He had a bed. <laughs> I mean, he wanted, wanted to put a bed around probably. Alright, so very soon I'm gonna start moving all of the loot and the ge one of the generators, but. I need to make a gauze can because I kind of despawned the industrial ones. So that could be a, a bit of a problem, but I can make a jerry can. All I need is just to go and get some tape. But in terms of loot, we're ready to move it, basically. We're ready to move it all to the tower base. It's almost done, but we still have some more stuff to do. Yeah, we're just gonna need, need to get some tape. What? He came back, bro. He's coming back so quick, he must have a base somewhere nearby. But I don't think he's gonna be a threat, honestly. I don't know. I come in peace. The hell? Bro, what? Is it the same dude? I come in peace. Please, I'm big. Bro, he's back. Well, that's my metal buckle. How does he keep coming back so quick, man? I'm just gonna keep killing him. I don't really want people living Are around me, man. Friend? Yeah, he's right outside my base. Should I just jump down on him and just destroy him? He's right there. Oh, motherfucker. I just want to be friends, bro. Damn. Man, shut up. I don't want to be friends. If you get a lot of friends on this game, probably get backstab at some point. Bro, he's back. Should I just not kill him and use him as my slave? He just wants to be friends. He's coming back so quick, bro. He has a base somewhere because there's no nearby spawns that he's coming back to so quickly. Please, I'm friendly, bro. Just teach me how to build or something. I'm pretty sure he knows how to build if he has coming back, man. Is he trying to bait me? He could be trying to bait me. If he gets a friend to TP to him and just, you know, kills me, I'm gonna give it a try. I'm just gonna wave at him. Hi. And I'm gonna give him a stick or a plank or something. Yeah, let's give him a stick. There you go, bro. You can build Thank with you. that.
Alright, so finally, after around like two hours of building and getting all of the loot that I needed, I am moving all of the loot from the first base to my main. So what I'm doing is I place the bed in the tower and I just jump straight down and then I home and I put everything in there. So that way it's safe, I'm not risking any loot. This dude that I did not kill, Ashley, apparently he's building very, very close to me. So I kind of got to be careful that he doesn't actually try something fishy. But if I jump from my base, I could probably land on his base. Oh yeah, base is starting to look pretty good. We've been doing this for a few hours now actually already. Time does pass by really quickly. Man, let's just put everything in there. We already got so much raiding gear. It's perfect. Yeah, we got already full crates. Probably gonna do a few runs after this. I wanna feel the map a little bit. I wanna see what kind of bases there are. If there are any live bases. That's really my goal, to be completely honest. So now I have not found a single unraided base. I'll just put all of these wardrobes over here. I do wanna make sentries. I do wanna upgrade this base to full medicine. And I wanna have a full locker wall. Over here we'll do crates, the other side will draw wardrobes, and in the middle we'll do lockers. So base will actually look a little bit good. And at some point I will start doing some honeycomb for the tower. I want to obviously make myself a doorway to get inside, because currently it's just one door, and you're through to my base. So I want to do that. I will probably salvage all of the stairs, too. So it'll just be one huge hole, and I'll put a bunch of roofs. So if people are trying to raid me, they couldn't actually build up. If I make a claim flag, if I salvage all of them, they couldn't actually get up. It's kind of genius. It's a good tactic. The only way they could actually get in is if they build from far away, or if they have a sky base and they jump on my base, especially if I'm online. All right, so we got probably all of the remaining glue. These are just some random guns that I probably will never use. But I'll keep them just in case I do a lot of sentries. But yeah, man, the base is starting to look pretty good. Starting to like it a lot. Over here, we have a very good angle. I didn't close it. We have a very good angle on the heli. So if there's people trying to kill the mega zombie, I could kill them from my tower base. And it's kind of safe up there. Um, dead man. This dude came out of his base. Pretty large base, but we found one online. There's a, there's a dude looking at me with an eagle fire. Hey, I'll put that gun down, man. Yo, butcher knife. I'm gonna pretend I'm not going... Oh, he's still looking at me. His eagle fire is empty. I'm gonna try to kill him, obviously. I mean, I've got nothing to lose. Come over here, Bucko. Hit him. Oh, he hit me, bro. There we go. He's dead. Eagle fire and an extra magazine. Obviously, I had to kill him, man. He was pointing a gun at me. Poor guy, though. Poor man. If he had it on burst, he could have killed me there. All right, we're going to Scorpion. I'll try to get the uh, Shadow Stalker now, then. I think it'll be a good idea to get one and just stay on our tower. Especially if people are around. At some point, people are going to pass by 100%. So now there was only that Ashley dude, but more will come. There's people in here, so yeah, they're right back there. I could try to make it to behind the car. Yeah, they don't see me. Perfect. Yeah, there's two dudes. No, die. All right, graduation is down. Let's kill the second guy. Yeah, the Viper. All right, there we go. Oh, 7X. Oh, that's good. It's really good. And over here, another shadow. There we go. And her seagull fire shots. Well, Shadow Soccer is great. Raw explosive. Doesn't really have rails, though. Only a few, man. Somebody's shooting around with a sport shot, too. Alright, so I put that loot pile all in the first base. So if we die and we get raided, we would always have a second base. But, yeah, there's a dude there. I hope I have range from here. I should, though. Let's get on the windowsill just to make sure. Yeah, he's coming closer, so... Right, he's dead. Let's go check out what loot he had. Yeah, man, this is such an OP base that I built. They won't expect this at all. Where is the Mega Zombie? So, yo, let's take him down. He's trying to kill it then. All right, there we go. Another Mega Zombie is down. These things spawn like every hour, I'm pretty sure, and somewhere. Oh, yeah, the dude had two Heartbreaker Saber and some Heikel. Let's take the Elise back. Let's kill the zombie. Yep, bro. This is such an OP thing, man. Charges, range finders. Bro, perfect. That's all I needed. Those are some easy sentries. More high cal. Take as much attachments as possible. We got a grizzly too. Drum. Nah, this is too OP. Literally nobody comes here too. There we go. This charge is so good. But very soon I'm probably gonna start focusing on uh, making sentries. Yeah, we just need uh, some metal and that's it. And easy sentries. Alright, so for the remaining of the day, all I did was I worked on getting two sentries and then I left for the day. I was hoping I really wouldn't get offline raided, but then we joined again and the base was still untouched. Now we're back for day number two. Really happy we didn't get raided. I did um, get myself a lot of metal and we're going to 
upgrade, start upgrading the base to full metal. We gotta put the wooden walls in there for now, just in case I build a larger part of the base. I don't really think I will though, but just in case, you'll never know. But yeah, the base has been standing for around like 12 hours in total now, which is actually huge. On this server, usually they get raided so quickly, but I don't know why they didn't get raided. I'm not gonna complain, obviously. Yeah, there's nobody over there, beautiful. Alright, so I'm probably gonna go do a few more runs, maybe some PvP. This time I'll go around Scorpion, last time I went there. Got myself uh, the Railgun, yeah, even this first base did not get raided. Oh, there's somebody in here, bro, I hear steps. We found a live base, I wonder if he'll come out. There's a lot of shots going on around Scorpion, but... Yo, I could try to raid this, but it's metal, so I need to make charges for that. We still don't have a, a Deto, so we just have to farm some more Mega Zombies. Yeah, let's just leave. He's not gonna come out, he's probably scared. And I think it's just one guy in there. Only heard one pair of footsteps. Oh, I'm getting shot at! Oh, I'm hit, bro. It's met up. Yeah, he's back there. One guy dead. Wait, what? I killed- I killed two people? Okay, I somehow killed two people. Either one of them was one HP. Oh damn, yeah, this dude had the saber. What did the other guy have? I don't even know where I killed him. I think here. Yeah, he didn't have anything though, but I killed two people there somehow. He didn't have anything though. Oh, there's a mega zombie. He hit me, bro. Let's kill him. Dodge that. Come on, bro, die. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> I didn't even realize. Alright. Another release back. Oh, there's the Deto. Let's go. Good, very good. Extremely good. Some more high cal. No range finders though, sadly. But a lot of scope. Alright, so I'm running out of space, so I made ourselves another locker. The wall of lockers is starting to get quite nice too. Getting quite a lot. So I won't complain at all. Oh, there's a saber tooth there. I'm shooting at someone. He's not even gonna go loot him. What? Okay, now that is weird. Are there more or something? What's going on? Yeah, he, he just dipped. He didn't even bother to loot him. Oh yeah, there's another dude. He's right there. This farmer- He has a chainsaw, bro. I need that. I need that chainsaw. Alright, let's kill him. I'm gonna go get it, man. I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna get out of here. I was there- I was looting the farm hoping for one, but we didn't get one. Now we can actually start chopping down trees fast. Thank God. Yep, chainsaw, he had a crossbow and a sport shot. Wait, there's a f wait, there's people there. I had a shadow. One guy dead. Let's destroy the fire truck. Oh, he died to it. Oh, there's a third dude. He's dead too. I think the third dude is not part of the- Yeah, it's Ashley. What? Right, Ashley's on and he's on the other side now. Okay, that- I don't know. Let's check out what loot they had. They seem kind of geared. He had Shadow Stalker for sure. Yeah, and then this was just a random duo. He died to a fire truck. I don't think he even realized. Yep, Shadow Stalker. A lot of rails, bro. That's so good. Oh, thank God. We have a Halo side Peacemaker. It's so very sick grip. Nice. Uh, Dragon Fang Shadow. What? Okay, another Blowtorch. At least back. Damn, this guy was geared. He has a Machine Giver as well. It's crazy. And we are back in our lovely bay. That was so good. That guy was stacked, bro. Yeah, we need more storage. We're full. We're genuinely full. I can make another locker. I just need one scrap and bam, easy locker. All right, let's just get ourselves some bars. And locker for the locker wall is back. Let's put this goodies in there. Bro, this was so good, man. A good double kill. I want to check what the what Ashley had. I could drum around with shadow for a bit, actually. We got two shadows from that. And we still have the third shadow in our first base. All right, so this heartbreak, I'm just going to put a cross scope on it. Save ourselves some space. Put that there. Drop that. Yeah, I think this is a good combination of guns. Shadow and the heartbreaker. Wait, what? Bro, how did he- Okay. I'm dead. How the hell did he kill me through? He wasn't even- uh, I don't know. Very sus, though. So I think he killed me and he homed because I don't see anything going on. I got on the roof, I placed stairs. I'm actually probably gonna salvage it and place the roof back. Yeah, he killed me, took my Elise back and my Heartbreaker and dipped. I thankfully did manage to loot everything before. Alright, let's salvage this one. Yeah, man, he's completely gone. I have no clue where he went. There's a dude there. It's not him 100%. I think he's just a naked, but... You still gotta kill him, man. 
All right, so I have made three charges and we're gonna go do a boom boom. We're gonna go try to raid that dude that I found earlier that was live. The metal base next to the helicopter crash. I wanna do an online raid, man. I really hope that he's still online. I don't know who the owner is. Oh, wait. Wait, there's a guy, bro. Bro, I'm dead. No, I died with charges. Bro, there's no way. Bro, this gun was on semi. Oh my god, there's... Dude, I'm going with Dragon Fang. I don't care. This is the first gun I picked up. He can't leave with these charges, man. All right, he's dead. He's dead. Let's pick everything up. Bro, he had his own Dragon Fang and four boxes. What? No, that's crazy. Oh my god. He had his own Dragon Fang. Yeah, this was the same dude that killed me. Oh, there's shots outside. Bro, it's like a lot of people are coming here now. Let's just drop everything and I'll jump straight back down. We got a Zubag though. Finally, we got a Zub. Where are the charges, man? Where are the charges, bro? I need those. I think I still have them outside. Yeah, there's a dude there. Let's kill him. Yeah, it's not him. It's somebody else. Hopefully, the charges are here, bro. Yes, all right. They're here. They're here. All right, I got everything. I got everything. Oh my god, that was so stressful. Yeah, we got everything. We profited from that. Bro, we got a dragon thing and four extra boxes. Thankfully, home is instant in the server. I did not see him the first time. Second time, I did not even know why my peacemaker was on semi. It's fine, though. We're good. We're good. Bro, that was the most stressful two minutes of my life. He could have literally raided me there and there, but he didn't. I don't know what he... He came to raid me 100%. It's the same Zubek guy that killed me a few minutes ago. Like an hour ago. He came back. Crazy. Yeah, I'm just gonna go on the roof and wait because i don't i think this guy is gonna try to come back 100 we should try to check out what loot the dude that i killed had to tell because i didn't even check there we got the chainsaw and i'm gonna chop down myself a tree and so that i can start doing some of the layering that layering that i was talking about of the tower because i didn't do that yet we go got ourselves a lot of logs where did i even kill this dude i don't even know yeah there's a loop right here so i'll probably hear well, yeah, it could be his loot. Probably zombies, though. A lot of heartbreakers. There's still a lot of metal. Lovely. Let's take the heartbreakers. Drop the Avenger. All right, good. Now let's home. Bro, my heart back there was about to explode. All right, so first things first is we gotta do a doorway and some pillars and some walls. We put these pillars right over here. Doorway there. And now some walls on the sides. Good. Beautiful. Let's put the uh, heartbreaker back in the sentry. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put the sentry outside. I'm gonna relocate the sentries. I'm gonna put one sentry outside and one of the sentries in the stairs. We'll put one right over here. Yeah, we could salvage this one, basically. Put the heartbreaker there. Salvage the campfire as well. And basically, they couldn't even get up. They would need to build. I gotta make a claim flex soon, though. I really, really need to. I'm gonna put it outside just in case he returns. Even if the sentry doesn't kill him, I would... Oh, there's a dragon fang box here. Okay. Yeah, I would know that he's out here, even if he doesn't die. All right, let's put a full magnet. So, all right, good. All right, a bit of relief now. But he's probably gonna come back. Yeah, so they can't even get up. Good. That's the plan. All right, let's do a door. All right, great. Lovely. And we could do a roof, but we gotta salvage the door first. Oh my god, I salvaged this. Bro, I think somebody's killing a mecha zombie right now. Alright, let's put that there. We build the wall. Now let's home. Let's put the door. We gotta kill this dude quickly, too. Oh, there's PvP out there. Yeah, he's back. The dude that tried raiding is back. Let's refill our mags. Right, let's put that campfire there, too. Oh, shadow stalkers. Bro, there's two people with shadows now. <laughs> Yo, the whole server is outside my base. Yeah, he's right there. Yeah, that's the dude that tried to raid me. He's dead. I was hiding behind a tree, bro. Let's replace that. Let's drop the dragon fat box in there. Drop these and let's go see what loot he had before he comes back and picks up his gun. Yep, we got a fully decked out heartbreaker. Nice. That was good. It was very good. There's a dude there. Hit him. Hit him again. Yeah, he's dead. Alright, let's go see what he had. Hopefully some juicy loot, man. Yeah, he seems geared. A little pile. Shadow, grenades, raw, bunch of ammo, a full outfit. There's more. Wait, there's a Russia top. How is there a Russia top on this map, bro? What? Oh, there's a dude back there. Hit him a few times. Oh, he's dead. Never mind. 
There's another dude on the base, bro. Alright, he's dead. He almost killed me. I had a Viper. Wait, is that base live? There's no way it's live. Let's med up, bandage. Let's salvage that. I'm getting shot at, bro. I'm gonna die, man. Oh, he missed. Okay. Bro, I'm so low. Let's put dressing really quickly. Yeah, this dude trying to push me, man. What? Okay. Oh, he's dead. Easy peasy. All right, let's home. Let's get out of here, bro. Yeah, I got another full inventory of heights here. Load. All right, so for the remaining of that day, I just basically stayed on top of the roof and waiting for people to come try to raid me. Nobody did. Everybody started to leave. And I left for a few hours and I returned on the server around three hours later. Oh, there's a mega zombie, bro. Huge. Let's take him down. Give me charges, please. But, uh, yeah, for now, I want to do a base raid. I want to raid. And I think we would be concluding this video perfectly if we do a base raid. This mega zombie wasn't really anything that special, to be completely honest. Grizzly was there, some high cal. Uh, attachments. We're gonna go raid that metal base that I saw. I don't. Probably the owner's not on now. Because we found that base and it was online around like 5 hours ago. So if he's still on the server, then good. But if he's not, then it's still gonna raid it anyway. But yeah, we've been on the server for quite a long time and we still are not raided now. Which is um, a miracle. Usually I get raided so quickly on these type of servers. But today I guess it's our lucky day, man. Like I didn't do anything differently. Either people think this tower is raided or I don't know. But I mean, I'll take it. Not raided over 24 hours. Pretty good. Right, we're here. Yeah, I don't hear any steps in there. Base is not raided either, so that's good news. And let's hope that three charges are enough. I don't know if the server has base health. But yeah, we're through. And there's a bunch of crates by the looks of it. Alright, well, heartbreakers. A lot of mags. I hope there's something good. Oh, a bunch of raw, that's good. Six raw, that's for c three C4. At least back in the shadow. Yeah, I'm not gonna have enough space, man. Sabre, Yuri. A lot of heartbreakers this one has. P PDW, I'll take that. Grenade and moral. Is that it? Alright, well, you know what? I'm actually not that disappointed. There's a lot of guns, man. I need to make a second trip for all of this loot. Taking all the heartbreakers, because heartbreakers are good, you know? But yeah, we got a lot of stuff to make charges back. I profited in raw. Grenades is not a problem. It's just the glue left. So we profited, technically. Plus, got a lot of guns. Alright, not bad, not bad. I'm gonna go for the second run, obviously I'm gonna get everything. I'm not gonna leave anything there. There's a dude there. Annihilated, destroyed, and conquered. I think he killed the mega zombie actually, because I heard shots when I was going to the base raid that I just did. So there may actually, he may have actually taken down a mega. It would be good if he did. Imagine he had charges on him or something. But yeah, this tactic is OP. If you guys want to try it out, feel free, let me know how you guys do. He yeah, hit a dragon fang box, a bunch of guns. Yeah, there was no mega zombie. I think he was just shooting down the the normal zombies. But dragon fang box is nice. Yeah, a lot of metal from this one, so. Salvage everything. Salvage all of the metallic items. Yeah, got ourselves a few metal. Looking good. Let's salvage this knife as well. Let's make them all into sheets. And now we can start upgrading the base even more. I just want to make all of the walls metal. And I would think that the base is quite strong in that way. Ah, uh, this wardrobe is in the way. Let's hope nothing dropped down. Yeah, it doesn't seem like anything dropped down. I'll check afterwards, it's fine. Let's yeah, just put them in here for now. Take the machine cover as well. Put it in here. And we could just put the wardrobe over here for now. Yeah, I can still make more walls. I think this is one of the final walls. There we go. I can't place it, bro. What? Oh, no. Oh, there we go. Alright. Nice. Well, alright everybody, that concludes the 24-hour survival video. I really hope that you guys did enjoy. If you guys want to see more like this in the future where we could do it on different maps, let me know. I had a good time playing here. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.